BA Information, Newsletter, Construction and Valuation, Quarter 1 for Year 2019, Phoenix Regional Loan Center. Greetings. We are pleased to present the first issue of the Phoenix Regional Loan Center Construction and Valuation CNV Newsletter. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your service to the veterans of Arizona, California, Hawaii, Nevada, New Mexico, United States Territories of America, Samoa, and Guam, and the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. The VA appreciates your expertise, professionalism, and collaboration. Phoenix CNV will use this newsletter to regularly communicate clarifications to policies and procedures and provide helpful tips and reminders. As always, please contact us if you have any additional questions at 877-827-3702, option 5. Inside this issue, page 2, VA values and expectations. Page 3, tips and reminders. And page 4, proposed construction new construction, construction slash permanent loan, loan for alteration and repair. End of page. Page two. VA's mission and values. Our mission at the VA is to fulfill President Lincoln's promise to care for him who shall have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan. Our core values are integrity, commitment, advocacy, respect, and excellence. We believe these values will serve you well in your career as a VA appraiser. Let these values guide your actions and interactions with all program participants, including veterans and VA staff appraisers. In addition to quality appraisal reports completed in timely fashion, VA expects and requires the highest standards of professional conduct Courtesy, appearance, and customer service from its fee panel members. Although you are independent contractors, remember that in the eyes of veterans, lenders, realtors, and other clients with whom you come in contact every day, you represent VA. Communication Expectations VA appraisers must make themselves available during normal business hours and are expected to respond promptly to any inquiries you receive by phone or email from VA staff and program participants. Your response should be made no later than the following business day. Failure to respond by the following workday may result in withholding of any new assignments until you have responded to VA. To care for him who shall have borne the battle and for his widow and orphan, Abraham Lincoln. Timeliness. Arizona, California, New Mexico, Nevada, and Hawaii appraisals are due within seven business days. Guam and Saipan appraisals are due within 15 business days. Day one begins on the first business day following the date of receipt. Weekends and holidays are excluded. If you receive an assignment that you will not be able to complete within seven business days because of personal reasons, call VA as soon as possible to request reassignment and put yourself on hold. If you receive an assignment that cannot be completed within seven business days due to the complexity of the subject, property, or market, contact the lender, POC, and VA by email to request additional time. If a report will be delayed due to circumstances outside your control, such as delays caused by the veteran, agent, lender, or tidewater, 
you need only document the delay in case notes. Document all attempts you have made to communicate with all parties. In a page. Page three. Case notes. Please consider the case notes function in the appraiser portlet, a documentation tool only. Utilize case notes to document appraisal milestones, such as appraisal inspection date and delays. It should not be used to communicate time-sensitive requests. Neither VA nor lender is immediately notified when a note is entered despite selecting Notify RLC. Therefore, please refrain from selecting Notify RLC when entering a case note. For urgent matters, email or call the lender POC directly or VA at cvgc.vbapho at va.gov. Or 877-827-3702, option 5. Vacation requests. Phoenix C and V no longer requires the appraiser to submit the vacation request form. Instead, send an email with vacation request in the subject line to uh, cvgc.vbapho at va.gov. The request must contain the following information. Appraiser name and VA ID. Reason for hold. Dates of unavailability, the dates to stop and resume assignments, VA assignments that should be reassigned if applicable, vacation requests should be submitted at least five business days prior to the date of unavailability. It is the appraiser's responsibility to complete all pending orders or request reassignment. Contact VA by phone with emergency hold requests for illness or other unforeseen circumstances. Liquidation appraisals. Every liquidation appraisal must contain a liquidation addendum that addresses the following. Number one, access attempts. Number two, Occupancy status. Number three, repairs needed, including individual or total costs and contributory values. Number four, analysis of at least three comparable listings slash offers. Please report this information in one location within your appraisal. Use of a generic liquidation addendum form made available by your software provider is acceptable. Please refer to VA pamphlet 26-7, chapter 11.13. You do not need authorization from VA to complete an exterior only inspection if the property is occupied and you have made three attempts on separate occasions to access the property, or you have been denied access by the occupant. The appraiser should complete the access attempts expediently to complete the report within seven business days. VA recommends the third attempt be a knock on the door during the drive-by inspection. 
If the appraiser determines the property is vacant while completing the drive-by inspection, the appraiser must notify the servicer and request access. The appraisal will remain on hold until access is available. Request assistance from BA if the servicer does not respond. An exterior only appraisal of a vacant property is not acceptable unless approved by BA. Page four. Proposed and under construction. Construction exhibits are required for properties appraised as proposed or under construction. See VA pamphlet 26-7, chapter 10.10, .10, construction exhibits. The appraisal should be subject to completion per plans and specs and should include the required appraiser certification for proposed construction appraisals based on construction exhibits. See Chapter 11.11, .11, Proposed Construction. If construction exhibits are not provided, then you must wait until the subject property is eligible for appraisal as new construction, or the lender can request appraisal from model home if available. Appraisal of appraisal from model home. Circular 26-14-23. Appraisal of proposed or under construction properties from model homes. Rescission date extended to January 1st, 2019. Authorized the use of a model home in lieu of construction exhibits to appraise proposed or under construction properties at the request of the lender. The appraisal should be subject to per plans and specs and should include the required appraisal from model home statement. See circular 26-14-23. Reminder, lenders often input incorrect building status on the 1805. You may have to adjust your approach if the subject is at a different stage of completion. Note the error in the portal and execute the report correctly. New construction. To be eligible as new construction, the property must be fully completed or completed except for customer preference items such as interior wall finishes, floor covering, appliances, fixtures, and equipment. Contact VA if you are unsure if an unfinished item qualifies as customer preference. The appraisal should be made subject to the following repairs and provide an itemized list of items needed to complete the contract. Simply stating subject to completion of customer preference items is not acceptable. Construction slash permanent home loan. Circular 26-18-7 replaces chapter 7 Topic 2, Construction Loans in the VA Pamphlet 26-7. This circular provides underwriting and appraisal direction for construction home loans. In this situation, the veteran obtains financing prior to the start of construction. Not to be confused 
with a standard purchase of a new construction home. That's highlighted. According to circular 26-18-76, a loan for alteration or repair allows improvements to be included in the value and completed after closing of the loan per chapter 11 period 12 when the purpose of the VA loan is to make alterations improvements or repairs costing over $3,500 the appraiser must estimate the reasonable value both on an as is and on as repaired basis and disclose the full extent of the work to be done. Eligible alterations and repairs must be those ordinarily found on similar properties of comparable value in the community if renovations require permits and local authority inspection and slash or require building plans these exhibits along with any materials specifications must be provided to the appraiser at the time of appraisal order appraisers will hold appraisal assignments until the appropriate exhibits are received. The appraiser should contact the lender POC if not received within one day of appraisal order and note the request in case notes. End of page.